All right. Now let's let's give everyone a tour real quick here of what we got so far. Hello, everybody. Great to please. We're back with more wrath. We're here with my buddy Savage. Hello. <laughs> and we recently discovered something incredible. Someone had mentioned, "Hey, why don't you make an entire raft highway interconnecting stuff?" And we're gonna do that, but we're also going to make a raft city. Now, one thing that we recently found is that the rafts don't have to connect at all. So you can see Savage is completely separate from me, and then in fact, there's a giant roadway going into the distance, into the horizon right there, that's not connected to either of us. Mm -hmm. uh, and, in, and in fact, there's another raft over here that's not connected to anything either. So we're going to start doing that. We are going to build a city, an entire highway road full of raft stuff. Um, and then from there, I don't know what we, I don't know what we want to do. Uh, if we want to build up to the clouds or whatever, but the game works a lot better and we haven't been able to break it, regardless of how big or wide or tall or long we're making stuff. So that's pretty big. Now every raft city needs a couple of different things. Uh, we're going to need probably a, uh, I don't know, maybe like a nice park with a swimming pool and some benches to rest at. We're going to need a, uh, like an apartment complex, maybe a strip mall. And like I said, you're definitely going to need some roadways, and I don't know, man, do you think it's possible to make a car in raft out of the raft pieces? Um... Now, the other thing that I've wanted to do is I kind of wanted to make something that sits on one single pillar, like a weird structure that goes up into the sky but only exists held aloft by one single pillar mm -hmm. and then has, like, a giant thing out from that. So we may do that as, like, a little... A little statue, like a capstone that'd be, that'd of the middle cool. of the city. All right, let's let's start making houses then. All right. What, what do you want to What do you want to start with? You want to start with the park, the house? I'll start with a apartment complex. What do we okay. want to make them? Wood or thatch? Hmm. I'll start with thatch maybe because it has like more color compositions. Yeah, we're, we're gonna want. I would say I would say make it uh, make different types though because people on a raft aren't always gonna have the same materials. That's very true. So we can make the first one thatch, and maybe the second one wood, maybe one of them like wood and thatch, because people are starting to, I don't know, they're, they're starting to spend all their money on drugs and alcohol. What? So they have Wait a minute, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. <laughs> what? They're going to spend all their money on drugs and alcohol? Listen, all right, you're, we're on a raft here. How much can you really do besides kill sharks, eat seagulls, eat seagulls. and... Uh, we were eating tons of seagulls, Savage. You we know were, this. We were to be eating true. a lot of seagulls. You're right. All right. While you're doing that, I'm gonna kind of work on a park over here. I think. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move way out here. Look at him working diligently, making a a house, like at 1,000 light year speed. You know what? You are effectively primitive technology but on like four billion pounds of methamphetamine. I'm on four billion pounds of meth. Is that literally what you just said? <laughs> yeah, because think about it. You have built an entire thatch shack in about four minutes. It's very true. That's impressive. How, how, is, that, how is that not impressive? It's, That's what I'm talking it's about. The <laughs> it's the meth. It's the meth. The made him do it. Just you wait. There's going to be trees all up in here. All right, there's a little lake in the middle. I'm going to put some benches down so people can relax and vacate. I've got some seeds going on right now for your different uh, your different trees in there, have you? I'm going to have to water them as well, though. Uh, oh, as a matter of fact, we're actually going to need a water-making device for this. down for the purposes of water at the moment. There we go. 
right, now I just gotta wait until some of the uh, some of the salt water gets turned into fresh water. I think. I don't know if there's an easier way to do that. Or Damn it. You're right. Dying. It's fine. We're good. Can I make half walls? Yes, I can. There are definitely half walls. For sure. You ever go on the water, Savage? Yes. You ever been out on the ocean? I have, yes. Have you ever had someone drive away while you were on the boat, sending you flying off into the ocean? What? Wait a minute, what? I remember it well. I was a young man, I was fishing with my father. And uh, I was actually pulling our rods out of the water uh, because we were fishing. And there was a gigantic boat that was coming our way. And the boat was not stopping at all. Uh, and it was going to be really, really bad if it ran into us. So my dad decided to just uh, go. He decided to just go while I was hanging off the back of the boat. And I went flying into the ocean. Luckily, I didn't get caught up in the engine, which passed by, which passed by my chicklets relatively closely. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, we did a lot of stupid stuff as a young... I did a lot of stupid stuff as a young man. Well, I guess that one wasn't my fault. Was It wasn't? I don't think so. I, I'm going to pin that one on my dad. I don't know, man. You were there. Yeah, what do you want from me? I'm a horse. kid. It's my job to do dumb stuff. As a parent, it's their job to keep me from doing dumb stuff as much as they possibly can. Unless they're the prime cause of it. I think that was the first and only time that I've had a uh, a boat prop come within 12 inches of my head. I look back at it and I think to myself, you know, I probably should have worn a seatbelt. A couple of inches the wrong way, <laughs> and I would be I would be chicletized. Savage, my park is going underwater every now and again. My entire building goes underwater, so I don't. I, I hadn't thought about this. I hadn't thought about this, but uh, in retrospect, eventually we should probably build like maybe second-story buildings and stuff like that. You know oh, what I mean? Oh no, I'm already on the second story, and it's coming underwater. Oh, that's bad. All right, I didn't think it would get quite that bad. How do you get oh yours? wow, you, you, you built a legitimate houseboat. I don't have anything inside yet. You, you can't even really get in. It's mostly just for looks. Oh, no. <laughs> you, hold on. What is this? Do you actually have like an entire radio system in every house? Oh, crap. Yep. The answer is yes, I do. All right, let me try this again. You have an actual radio system in here? Look at this. He's got, like, a place to watch, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what you'd watch out here. The only station you can get. It's probably, like, TNT or something. And then... Oh. Up, where are you at, you little scumbag freaking seagull? I swear to God, if I had the ability, I would stab you in the face and then eat your carcass. 
Okay, now how do you... <laughs> That's a little morbid. Jesus. Uh, let's do rope fence. That sounds cool. Make it as far out as you can because I want to see... Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. Because I want to I wanna get some, uh, some plant beds over here. All right, man. What do you think of my uh, what do you think of my little my little tiny raft over here? See, this is for the kids. All right, that's nice. Right over there, they can have they can have some fun on that. Uh, I wonder if I can put anything on top of it. I don't know. Maybe. There we go. Now you can watch HGTV while they sail around or whatever. HGTV. Huh. Huh? All right, Savage, I took the liberty of uh, painting up your uh, your boat a little bit over here. Which one? As well as the one next to it. The ones that are parked next to the next to the park. Oh, good. Thank you. What do they look like? Good? Yeah, come on over. This, I just gave him a little bit of color for right now. Just just, just as something. I kind of gave, I kinda gave the, the little sporty one maybe some racing stripes. You can't really give it stripes unless it's multi-level with, like, multiple half walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The problem is it does the entire wall. All right, now let's let's give everyone a tour real quick here of what we got so far. So this is the park with plenty of botanicals and trees and all there. Have you? You can see you're gonna get your uh, your mango and your uh, your palm trees on. Delicious watermelons and uh, pineapple. Is that what? It is? Yeah, pineapple. Everywhere you go. We're gonna have to take this out. These uh these little water purifiers. That's just there for convenience right now. You got some vehicles pulled up in here. They're hanging out while the weather starts getting a little crazy. This is why you got to keep all your bedding and stuff on the second level, apparently. Oh, I love it. As soon as, as soon as we do the freaking oh cribs Lord. episode for Raph, everything goes completely nuts. Now, sad way over here, it's just begun. This is only the beginning of this little house. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't really think about it, but the shanty ended up getting done before the actual house. This was supposed to be just a little shanty. This is gonna be like a little bedroom over here. Maybe I'll put like some, uh, some uh, shark's heads on the walls and stuff to take your ramp upward. Of course, of course. You got your second level with a lovely deck. Holy hell. Out and enjoy the view. And then Savage over here. Oh, and I made a little, got a little, I don't know what to call this. This is like your smart car of the seas. This is kind of like the mayor's house, I guess. Maybe we'll start this as like a big, really, really tall mansion. I don't know. I made this like almost like an apartment block. Uh, we could have two. We could have the mansion. We could have the we could have the big mayor's house like way at the end of the city, wherever we go. Hmm. And then this, you said, is the. I want to make this the like bus, a bus depot. The bus depot, where all the mass transit rafts have to pull up. And load people in so they can get to the rest of the parts of the city. Yeah. We've got a we've got a big project ahead of us. This is the very beginning of what we would like to make a gigantic raft city. Is there anything that you guys want to see in this thing? You have to let us know in the comments section if there's anything specific. We've got <laughs> great, great. <laughs> Jump, man! There you go, buddy. We've got. We've got housing, we've got parks, we've got cars, we've got Winnebago's, and we have the beginning of a bus depot. We also have, at this point, the waves like 13 feet tall because of how, the, how big the raft is starting to get. And we have a full and operational park. Yes. Um, now, is everything going to be, like, perfect in line? No, and it shouldn't be because this is survival, man. These people... These people were gonna die up until a couple of hours ago, and then, you know, in, in a few hours they created this luxurious land. This metropolis, this utopia. It's beautiful. As Savage has named it. Anyway, folks, that's gonna be it for this episode of Rap. As I said, if you have anything else you want us to do, feel free to let us know in the comments section below. I'm gonna have a link to Savage's channel in the description as well, so you can check out his point of view as he builds some of the glorious items. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy much. Bye.